So on the 4x4 you can get PLL parity and there are two common elks for dealing with this case where you want to swap the UF H pair with the UB H pair. So here the most common elk I see most people doing is 2R2, U2, 2R2, UY2, 2R2, UY2. And a slightly less common elk, actually very much less common elk is UW2, RW2, U2, 2R2, U2, RW2, UW2. If you use the first L with slice moves, this video is not for you. You can stop watching here. And for the other L, we'll be showing how to modify this L to solve an adjacent swap on any of the four possible angles. So to begin with, observe that when you start off the L, the first move is a UW2, and the last move is also a UW2. So actually, we can replace those UW2s with any move sequence that sets up the H pair we want to swap. So in this case, UF and UL to the front and back positions while moving the centers to this opposite color bar state. So for example, if you want to swap UF and UL, you can do UW prime, R U R prime, which sets up those two H pairs to be opposite of each other, and then another UW prime. And then we just do the middle of the L and then we undo our setup moves. Let's handle the case where they are at the UF and UF and UL positions. And if they're at the UF and UL positions, we can do something similar. So we'll start with UW prime, R U prime R prime, UW prime, and then do the middle of the L. If they're at the back, UR and UB, we can uh do something like U W R U R prime U W to the middle of the L and undo our setup moves. With the the U B and U L positions, then we can do U W R U prime R W. Hey, wait, no. What am I saying? U W R U prime R prime. It sets up those edges to be opposite, then another UW, do the middle of the L, and then undo our setup moves. So we swap these two edges, these two edge pairs. Yeah. Something you might have seen some other people teaching is to use the RUR prime U prime to set up the UF and URH pass to UF and UB. So you can use any parity L you want, like the one that slice moves. And then undo your setup moves to swap UF and UR. But the way I showed earlier has. It's the same move count in half turn matrix, but in quarter turn matrix, it's one move short. It's two moves shorter. So that's obviously better. Obviously, for completeness, there's another one where you do something like this. Do R two D prime set to set them up to U F and D F, then rotate and do your parity out. Then undo your setup moves. But that one is not so nice because it requires a rotation, and I don't use it on four by four. But I use it on 6x6 because rotations are actually fine on big cubes.